Hey guys, welcome to the new iPad unboxing and we're going to take a look at some of the apps that are Retina Display capable and this video is being shot with a Sony Xperia S that I just got testing the video quality. I am going to be unboxing the white 32 gig Wi-Fi only model. This box looks very similar to any other iPad box if you've ever seen one. It just says iPad side here. The Apple logo, nothing too fancy about that, and on the back right there it says 32 gigabytes, and okay, we're going to get right into it. And this one retails for $599, um, it's the same price as before, even with the update. Um, I'm glad they kept it the same price. There was rumors that they were going to bump up the price, but they kept it the same. So, all right. Let's get this out of the box here. And there it is. All right. I'm going to take it right out of the box. Noticeably, it is a little heavier, but let's talk about the star of the show here, which is the new Retina display at 1048 by 1536 resolution on a 9.7 inch screen. That equals 264 pixels per inch, which is super high density. Compared to any of the other tablets out there, it really blows it away on pixels per inch. So I'm really excited to see this. Um, in comparison, the new Android at Asus Transformer Infinity series is coming out. We'll have 224 pixels per inch and the old Asus Transformer Prime or actually not old, but that has 149 pixels per inch. So Here's just all the documentation stuff you'll never see and Apple stickers. Some people love them. Some people don't uh, We'll just throw that to the side. Nobody ever reads that uh, Here's a USB uh, cable syncing cable That you get and a power brick so the same as usual, nothing new here, nothing underneath this box. So we'll just set that aside. And um, let's take a look at this and go over some of the specs. Uh, this has a new A5X dual core processor. Uh, the things that have changed is the graphics chip. This is a quad core graphics chip, supposed to give double the graphics with one gig of RAM up from 512 and a huge battery. So um, this should really help out in the battery specs. I said this is about the same as the iPad 2 for battery life, and this is running iOS 5.1. So and not too much different there either. And wow, this screen is already looking very sharp. Um, wow, totally different from the iPad 2. Um, you can also get this in 4G LTE on AT&T and Verizon and up to 64 gigs and uh, It comes in black and white But this is the Wi-Fi model that I'm unboxing here. Wow. The screen is extremely sharp if you can try to see that I Don't think the camera is going to do it justice at all If you don't have one you're going to really have to go to the store and take a look because this screen is looking amazing right now It's kind of hard to describe um, that's one of the things I found that was lacking in the iPad 2 was the screen resolution, but I think this fixes that. So let me get all set up here and get this going, and uh, you guys don't need to see this. So I'll get this going and come right back. Okay, so now that I have it all set up, let's take a look. And wow, that is a new wallpaper, but... That is incredible. You can take a look at the screen. This Retina display is, is very, very nice to look at. If you can see, let me try to zoom up close here so you can see. The icons, the text, everything looks so much crisper. I think the way that it was supposed to be. And uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed at all in this screen. This screen is amazing. Okay. So what we're going to do 
is we're going to take a look at the web browsing on here and see how fast that is. I'll show you real quick. Uh, there's Apple Sites, so let's go into something like Engadget real quick. And this is running over Wi-Fi, so you can see it loads very fast. Pinch to zoom is super responsive as usual. And you can see that text there. It's so crisp. I can see that web browsing is going to be great on this, uh, just like it was on the iPad 2. Uh, iPad 2 is not a slouch either. We'll go to the Verge website real quick. It's a little bit more uh, graphics heavy, so let's see what it does here. And it loads fairly quickly, but it's loading up all the graphics. But you can see it's already smooth. Pinch to zoom is smooth. Um, I've always loved the iPad for uh, the web browsing capabilities. I know it doesn't support Flash, but uh, with HTML nowadays, it's really not that much of an issue. But I do love my Android before for that. So it, I wish it would support Flash, but that's a whole nother that's a whole nother topic there. So let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at the back, and we do have a new imager here, a five megapixel iSight camera there. And that's how um, that's going to be able to shoot in 1080p video. Let's take a quick look at that real quick and see what kind of images this takes. Since the old iPad only had a one megapixel camera, that was one of the worst things about it. So this is something that they fixed. Um, I'm pretty excited about this camera. So let's take a quick picture with this. Let me bring the keys in here. And we'll just take a quick shot. Focus is fast. Let's just tap the zoom. Focus real quick. There we go. Uh, you see that new camera interface is a little bit more streamlined. And let's zoom in right here and see what kind of detail we can get. That is extremely sharp for a 5 megapixel camera sensor. So you can see the level of detail there. That's pretty incredible. Uh, I'm looking forward to testing that camera out. So we'll do that in a full review. All right, let's take a look at some of the apps here that are uh, Retina display capable. So first thing we'll look at um, is iPhoto, but um, since that's kind of expensive, actually I'll probably go into a game first. Let's go into Infinity Blade. If you're not familiar with Infinity Blade, it's made by Epic Games. Um, the graphics are pretty incredible on it, uh, but they put out an update to support the Retina display graphics. So let's take a look and see what this looks like running on the new iPad. So, all right. I'm having a little focus issues here, but uh, here we go. And here's Infinity Blade 2, and it does look extremely sharp. So, I'll try to hold still if I can, and so you can see how good this looks on the new iPad. Let's turn the sound up a little bit. Probably not going to do so well holding this and uh, playing at the same time, but you can you can get an idea of what it's like. Yeah, I am doing terrible, but you can see the graphics are extremely smooth. No stutter in the gameplay whatsoever. Sharp touch is very responsive. It just makes this gaming experience so much better. I'm really looking forward to these retina graphics on uh, these video games coming up. So let's take a look at let's take a look at a game lock game real quick. I'm gonna look at Modern Combat 3. This is a game that I've played on multiple platforms, but this is also has a uh, bump up for Retina graphics. So let's take a look at this and see how this runs on a new iPad. Okay. Well, try to zoom it up a little bit and see if you can see how crisp this looks. You can see my Xperia S right there. Why is the 
Yeah, this just looks great on the new Retina display. Let me show you some of the gameplay as well. There you go. Extremely smooth on the gameplay. I want to say it's a lot more fluid than uh, on the iPad 2, but the iPad 2 it played well too as well. So. So you can see how good the colors are on the screen, how sharp everything is. And uh, I can't wait till they actually, the developers actually get a hold of this quad core graphics chip. I think we're going to really see a bump up in graphics real soon once the developers get a hold of it. So I'm really excited to see that. All right, well, there's the gaming. So let's take a quick look at iPhoto. Um, it's it's available for $4.99. It's a $5 app, but it does improve a lot on the uh, photo editing scale. Uh, here's that quick picture I took of the keys. So um, let's just try to take a look here at the menus. This is the first time I've ever used it, so there's an auto enhance feature. Let's see what that does. Uh, brightens it up a little bit. Let's take a look at some of the tools here. Some nice animations there. Alright, so all the all the editing here is non-destructive. You can always go back, which is nice. And here are some of the filters here, vintage filters and things, kind of Instagram-ish. But I'm glad they built that in. And there you go, there's Vintage right there. So extremely quick and easy to use. I'm looking forward to uh, doing this so you can remove the effect right there. You can always go back, non-destructive editing. So I will do a full review of iPhoto for the iPad, but uh, that's a quick look. So if you guys have any questions about the new iPad, please let me know. Uh, leave a comment below. And I will do my best to answer them. I will have a full review up very soon. Thanks for watching the video. And we'll see you later.